हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द यू डी पी मैथमेटिक्स क्लास इन द फर्स्ट यूनिट लेट एस डिस्कस टूडे अबउट मीनिंग आफ मैथमेटिक्स सो अंडर्स्टैंडिंग डिप्ली एंड पेडगॉगी आफ मैथमेटिक्स मीन वेन यू आर सेलेक्टेड युवर मेथडालजी फॉर टीचिंग एज ए मैथमेटिक्स फर्स्ट यू शुड अंडर्स्टैंड वाट एक्चुअली द सब्जेक्ट इट ईज then only it is possible to teach in an effective way in the classroom that's why every teacher first understand the particular subject before going to i'm not talking about the content mastery because you already have content mastery over the uh, teaching subject mathematics because you are graduated in uh, mathematics subject some of them you are uh, finished your pg course also that's why you are having a content mastery but you should understand the mathematics subject as its uh, nature the meaning and uh, what are the uh, other aspects of uh, mathematics subject deals if you are understanding clearly about all these things then only it is possible to teach in an effective way uh, in the classroom in that sense otherwise it's simply becoming a uh, just giving an information about mathematics subject so that's why Uh, we have to understand the basic uh, components of mathematics uh, in terms of the meaning nature the scope and uh, imp- uh, learning theories all those things under the subject udp mathematics so the first we should understand is so the what actually the mathematics subject so that is nothing but meaning of mathematics meaning of mathematics first of all i want to uh, give it is a developmental concept that means however the uh, the new development uh, taken place from different period to period so the subject it is having a different uh, content it is uh, to deal with that one so that means uh, it is that's why it is called as a developmental concept meaning of mathematics the term mathematics has been interpreted and explained in various ways this is due to the our empirical knowledge and various types of experiences yes because uh, however the new uh, the calculation method or application part or whatever the research findings have been uh, got we are received based on that we are added in the subject mathematics so that's why so it keeps on changing but ultimately all the types of explanations conclusively end at some kinds of relationship with number and space thus mathematics deals with the quantitative facts and relationship as well as with the problem solving space and its form so that's why we are generally we are saying in a simpler manner mathematics is nothing but a, it is a some kind of a, a relationship with the number and space it is deals with the quantitative facts that means numerization what we are saying by using the numbers and other things but it is not only really restricted to that thing so let's discuss what are the other meanings of uh, mathematics it enables the man to study various phenomena in space and establish different types of relationship between magnitudes of quantitative and quantitative facts therefore it may be concluded that mathematics is the enumerative and calculative part of human life and knowledge the person to give an exact interpretation so that means uh, magnitude is nothing but quantity how much how many things so like that it's only for the calculative purpose uh, initial stages the man is uh, uh, applying as a mathematical knowledge in day to day Uh, life but it is uh, it's not only for that it is related because of so many other things uh, as we received uh, because of advancement in science and technology so our researchers have been and uh, other persons have been given so many advanced discoveries under the particular subject etymologically the term mathematics is derived from two greek words mathenian means learning so actually the word mathematics actually derived from the greek words first one it is mathenian means learning and techni means an art or technique so 
in that way mathematics means the art of learning related to faculties it is a art of learning whenever we are saying it is an art it is a skill we have to practice it so that's why mathematics means it is an art of living uh, sorry art of learning in terms of the uh, the word meaning etymological meaning means the word meaning but it is not restricted to just an art of learning in many indian languages the vernacular word the mathematics is ganit in hindi we are saying it is ganit which means the science of space and quantity ganit means science of space and quantity so systematically we are studying about the space and uh, numbers like that which helps in solving many problems of uh, life using numeration and calculation so in sanskrit it is said ganit shastra which means science of counting and calculation for mankind ganit shastra in sanskrit we can say ganit means but actually science of counting means it is a systematic study of counting that is nothing but manipulation of the numbers with related to the different operations termed as calculation so that is the simple meaning of mathematics actually okay so the as i uh, said in the beginning only mathematics uh, meaning it is uh, it keeps on changing because how the subject it is expanded because of the so many researches or contributions given by the different mathematicians for the development of this particular subject uh, it is added so many things by keeping all those things that's why we are saying it is a developmental concept earlier it is said only the simpler way later what we are using as a mathematics what we are dealing in the subject it is really so the keeps on changing so earlier so the some definitions we can uh, analyze then only we will get the complete meaning of the subject mathematics mathematics is a science of number and space earlier it is said that it is a just a science of number and space so the meaning of this definition is science is nothing but systematic study of physical phenomenon isn't it so here it is science of number so that means maths is a systematic study of number and space systematic study of numbers we are already know the different set of numbers natural numbers real numbers whole numbers so how we can systematically studying how they are we are manipulating with a different manner isn't it so many operations with related to the natural numbers whole numbers integers real numbers irrational numbers all those things we are doing so that is simply a not just a study it is a systematic study of numbers that deals with uh, in a particular subject mathematics it's not uh, just a, uh, uh, calculating or uh, conducting in operations with related to the different numbers and also it is related to the it is a science of space space means so utilization of that particular space the three dimensions or two dimensional space what we are using isn't it so that means it is particularly related to the geometrical part so that is nothing but science of uh, study of uh, systematic study of space it indicates that means we are understanding clearly about the two dimensions and three dimensional figures how we can calculate the area volume with related to the, that uh, characteristics so that actually it is uh, uh, represents earlier in the beginning stage mathematics is the science of number and space later when it is changes then it is added mathematics is the science of measurement quantity and magnitude it's the science of measurement much more upgraded version of definition that is mathematics is a science of measurement this definition clearly indicate that mathematics is an accepted science which deals with the quantitative aspects of our life and knowledge measurement when it comes it is nothing but quantitative aspects of our life how we are using so with related to the time counting numbers counting things objects etc and uh, measuring things objects isn't it all those things and knowledge it helps us in drawing necessary conclusions after doing all those things what we are doing necessary conclusions we can make how much uh, it is big or less or more like that we can make a conclusions and interpreting various ideas with a useful meaning interpretation it is possible when we are comparing the things with related to the these aspects this is the second definition added it's not a just a simple simply a science of number and space it is much more than that it is nothing but science of measurement again measurement involves numbers and space also but that's why it is said to be a science of measurement quantity and magnitude so the next definition is that according to the gauss i think uh, you heard about the name of gauss 
isn't it well known mathematician stated mathematics is the queen of sciences and arithmetic is the queen of all mathematics according to the above definition queen of sciences says that it emphasizes the entirely abstract character of mathematics that means first one it is a queen of sciences the science subjects are also without the application of mathematical uh, formulas or representing a mathematical way not possible to understand clearly because it emphasizes the extremely abstract characteristics of mathematics mathematics is the queen of sciences according to this one so mathematical language mathematical relationship mathematical concepts can be utilized in the field of uh, sciences for the more uh, uh, understanding for the purpose of more understanding or to explain the co science concepts in a very uh, uh, very meaningful way that is nothing but mathematics is the queen of sciences so the second one it is uh, arithmetic is the queen of all mathematics it reduces all mathematics to the postulation forms that's why when we are saying uh, when we are moving to the algebra first we should understand very clearly about the arithmetic 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 then it goes to give so the addition in the algebra a plus a is equal to to a how it will become like that one a plus b it not possible to add up because so unlike terms so then only it is possible to understand because arithmetic if you are well versed then only it is possible so that gives actually the meaning postulate forms so according to the gauss mathematics is the queen of sciences and mathematics is the queen of all mathematics in that sense so this is another definition according to the gauss it is much more uh, important just it is not uh, simply the uh, science of measurement and science of uh, uh, numbers and space it is much more than that mathematics is a queen of sciences see here it is a much more application part of the mathematics uh, content we can discuss here so the next one, according to the national policy of education np 1986 national policy of education these are the policies uh, time to time deals with uh, how education has to be uh, move in a particular india uh, india so at the different levels so these policy np 1986 there so many uh, policies are, have been uh, come up with uh, different recommendations with related to the school education as well as with related to the particular subject how we can deal and like that so according to the np stated mathematics should be visualized as the vehicle to train a child to think reason analyze and to articulate logically so mathematics should be visualized as the vehicle to train a child so it is like a vehicle it acts like a vehicle it carries all those things vehicle what it for what purpose we are using for the transportation purpose how to carry or to carry the loads or other things from one place to another place isn't it like that it acts like a vehicle so it what it carries actually so train the child to think so think how much the student has to think and reason out so that is most important analyze and to articulate logically these are the things these are what we can say so indirectly faculties of the mind when we are studying mathematics as a subject it helps indirectly to develop mental faculties thinking ability reasoning ability analysis power and logical power as well as all these things are very important so according to this uh, definition it acts like a vehicle in that vehicle it is possible to develop all the faculties of the uh, mind so when we are solving some problem for example when we are solving linear equations let us consider x plus 2 is equal to 4 so it's a simply a linear equation we have to find out the x value we are following certain steps isn't it so we have to reason out we have to think and analyze all those steps and we have to articulate logically why we are moving to the next step all these are things involved in every concept when we are teaching a mathematics uh, mathematical concepts that's why mathematics should be visualized as a vehicle to train a child to think reason out analyze analyze the things and to articulate logically in that way we have to actually teach all the mathematical concepts so indirectly it helps to uh, develop all these faculties among the students not just simply a solving the problems to find out the solution so the dictionary meaning of mathematics is that it is either the science of number and space or the science of measurement quantity and magnitude it is earlier it is said that but it is defined as a science of quantity 
measurement and spatial relations. So, this is comes later. It is systemized, systematized, organized and exact branch of science. Systematized, organized and exact branch of science. Yes, mathematics is also a one of the branch of science, but it is added with the exact branch of science because exactness is one of the characteristics of the mathematical concepts. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 or 10 plus uh, 8 equals 18. It is always exactly the same answer when you are moving. So, wherever the world, whenever the world or wherever the world. It deals with the quantitative facts relationship as well as with the problem involving space and form. Okay, according to the um, Bert, uh, Bertrand Russell in the year 1901 defined mathematics as a subject in which we never know what we are talking about nor whether we are saying is true like that we can move like that. So, according to this uh, definition, it is a queen of science. Sciences says that it emphasizes the entirely abstract characteristics of a mathematics. When we are saying mathematics as a queen of sciences means abstract nature because science all the subjects are very abstract in nature not possible to visualize the things. Those can be visualized by only by using a mathematical connections or in represented in a mathematical form. For example, when we are saying uh, if it is a, a refraction, how we are explaining the concept of refraction or reflection taken place. Uh, so, the loss can be understood very clearly. Uh, so, the I is equal to R. So, the angle of incidence will be equal to the angle of refraction. Those things can, uh, can be understood and uh, in a mathematical form then the concept of science can be understood very clearly that's why it is uh, it emphasizes the entirely abstract character of mathematics abstract means not possible to visualize this can be have the proofs in a mathematical way uh, it reduces all mathematics to postulation forms yes and it appears the traditional definition of mathematics as the science of number quantity and measurement maths is just not a simply the it related to the calculation or it uh, refers to the only the operations what we are doing fundamental operations it is not just like science of numbers quantity and measurement of course it involves it is much more than that so in that way so the according to the rusal definitions can be analyzed and uh, okay in ganit already i have said ganit uh, meaning there by the science of calculation it is a simple meaning about a, the subject uh, mathematics earlier it is uh, termed as a science of calculations only according to the galileo i think uh, he has given wonderful definition uh, about mathematics mathematics is a language in which god has written whole universe it is missed the word god has written whole universe i think this is wonderful uh, definition given by the galileo Uh, according to Galileo, mathematics is the language in which God has written whole universe. What it means whole universe? Because mathematics it is termed as a language. When we are saying it is a language, we, it is possible to communicate. It can be uh, communicate, it can be understood by one person to another person for the to sending the information. When we are using different languages, here I am talking with the English language because I am communicating, isn't it, for the information about meaning of mathematics. Like that by using a mathematical language, we can communicate. But in that language, it is a very special type of language. It is a uh, very uh, brief in nature. It is not uh, by using a sim symbols, terms, technical terms and uh, all those things, signs. Uh, terms all those things it is using to for the purpose of communication those things we have to develop among our students that is most important so in which god has written whole universe that means when we are understanding about minute things when we are having in our uh, so for example microorganisms how we are explaining microorganism to macro level uh, 
type of objects that is use mass celestial bodies those things can be explained by mathematical way for example when we are taking a uh, for example f is equal directly that means gravitational force is directly proportional to the uh, product of m1 into m2 divided by d square isn't it directly proportional to the mass of the product of two uh, objects m1 and m2 if you do you are take an m1 so that means very uh, less mass object and m2 if it is taken if your celestial body and what is the distance you can calculate the fraction, uh, uh, gravitational force between those two objects this can be understood very beautifully by using by uh, applying a mathematical concepts or uh, mathematical way when you are expressing so then it is very easy for the students to understand very beautifully so that's why maths itself a language so that means all the operations all the numbers signs what we are using calculations they are termed as a language that means all the content it is in the language form in which god has written whole universe means all the uh, whole universe what we are having those things can be described by mathematical way for the more uh, uh, clarification purpose otherwise it is not possible when we are saying how much uh, uh, thing so the how distant the sun it is far away from the heart when we are thinking about that one that can be explained in a beautiful way so by using the uh, the time travel taken per second uh, uh, to reach the sun rays from sun to uh, the earth so by taking that one we can calculate it uh, nearly 8 minutes isn't it approximately 15 crore uh the kilometer distance between the sun and the earth this can be understood how much uh, they are uh, uh, having a distance from the earth very distant objects what we are seeing and mass of the huge celestial bodies and also micro organisms when we are saying about electrons neutrons and protons all these things can be understood very clearly by using a mathematical uh, language nothing but a so the mathematical way of uh, expressions so by using a symbols or equation so many other forms so that's why mathematics is the language in which god has written whole universe so that is beautifully it is uh, uh, why uh, when we are saying why it is happening uh, all these things can be i explained by using a mathematical equations so that is nothing but uh, the god has written whole universe this is i think one of the very good definition given by galileo next uh, by analyzing all these definitions we can conclude that what exactly the mathematics meaning is that isn't it so mathematics is the science of space and number yes of course we cannot uh, 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 oppose this one of course it is a part of that science of space and number it's not just simply a calculations and just by manipulation of the numbers so we are adding here science of space and numbers means systematic study of space as well as systematic study of numbers all the operations different types of set of numbers uh, you know very well natural numbers whole numbers real numbers rational numbers how we are operating along with systematically that is nothing but what are the uh operations they are hold satisfying good that is associative property of natural numbers to the real numbers commutative property isn't it inverse law all those things systematic study of numbers and space space that is nothing but it includes the two dimensional as well as three dimensional much more it will covers later so only i am giving an examples here with related to the secondary school aspects space means it is not restricted to the three dimension it is much more than multi dimensional aspect also it deals that is very important when it when it comes to the application part in the other field mathematics is a science of calculations yes of course mathematics is a science of calculation so that is also another meaning here we can give calculation of all those things so calculating the numbers calculating the other things so many things it will comes mathematics is a science of measurement quantity and magnitude is yes, measurement measuring all the things counting the numbers uh, measuring uh, space objects isn't it measuring everything measuring uh, uh, all the things it is nothing but science of measurement measurement means counting counting the numbers counting the objects and uh, measuring the objects measuring the things space it includes measuring the space all those things it will comes here so that is a uh, earlier it is said that mathematics is a science of measurement and quantity and mathematics is a systematized organized and exact branch of science 
yes of course i have explained all these things systematized that means it is a very in a sequential way and organized also it's uh, for example systematized all the concepts when you are going so one or the other way they are linked if you are understood basic information of the mathematics then only it leads to understand clearly about the upcoming informations and upcoming concepts uh, in a, that particular way for example if you are not understood fundamental operations like that uh, addition uh, uh, multiplication uh, addition subtraction multiplication division it is not possible to understand later upcoming information that can be applied to the other type of the numbers so when you are studying with the natural numbers same thing will be applicable to when you are studying with the fractions decimals all those things it will comes under that one isn't it systematized if you are not understanding addition not possible to get idea about a multiplication all are linked sequential way systematized organized and exact branch of science so that is nothing but it is related to uh, all the way calculation when we are finding answers uh, that is true for everywhere in all the cases so many times it deals with the quantitative facts and relationships it is the abstract uh, form of science yes it is abstract form of science when we are saying uh, for example uh, refraction taken place for example how the when you are performing certain uh, experiments uh, demonstration for example uh, refraction or a reflection when you are holding a mirror in front of the some rays it will reflects the that reflected rays falls on the some wall so isn't it that is visible you can show a proof how it is going to be happen and all those things so but uh, uh, abstract it is there how it is happening so we have to show there is a certain angle between normal so if it is not 90 degree then it is uh, not possible to get a reflection or refraction so in certain cases we have to uh, mathematically we have to show that as that form it is called as a mathematics so when i is equal to r that means i will be always equal to r then uh, reflection can be taken place like that so that is nothing but abstract form of science mathematics is very abstract in nature for example when we are teaching 2 plus 3 what it means the two pens when we are counting with the three pens then we totally together called it is five pens so that is very abstract in nature but uh, when we are simply saying 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 always it is everybody knows but what actually the meaning is that prefixes and suffixes unless of that it is not possible isn't it when we are talking about a ratio so how much ratio so h2o so talking 1 is to 2 ratio so one molecule of oxygen having a two molecules of uh, sorry two atoms of hydrogen 1 is to 2 ratio so the h2o so the water combination it is formed so the ratio concept it is very abstract in nature that's why mathematics is very abstract form of science what we are saying among all the sciences it is very abstract in nature so that's why it is becoming very tough for the students not possible to visualize all those things in that essence so that is most important when we are teaching about a fractions 1 by 2 how it is can be added to the 3 by 4 like that how it is moving so that means fractions come when we are talking about a one natural numbers when we are moving with the fractions so the more thing the student has to understand very clearly about how it will going to be happen so that is the thing so that's why it is said to be abstract form of science not possible to visualize exactly sometimes it is a science of logical reasoning yes later we will discuss uh, this is about in detail about logical reasoning it is a science of logical reasoning reasoning means based on the certain facts and truths we have to give a proofs that is nothing but reason out reason out so the mathematical mathematics subjects having two types of reasoning one is inductive reasoning another one is deductive reasoning inductive reasoning always moves from the examples to the specifics to the generalization or examples to the generalization we can quote a series of examples later we can make a based on the criteria or characteristics present in that particular examples we can make a conclusions nothing but a generalizations that is possible so with related to the all concepts of while teaching a mathematics for example when we are saying uh, so the uh, equilateral triangle are we are saying so when we are giving a cutouts of equilateral triangle to the so many students by measuring all the angles we can conclude that all the triangles having a all uh, each angle measures 60 degree and all the angles also measuring 60 degree we can conclude that it is an equilateral triangle this is possible series of examples you can give uh, 
uh, with relate to the particular concept. Yes, it is having a logical reasoning that is inductive reasoning as well as deductive reasoning. So, deductive is generalization to the always specific or uh, generalization to the examples we have to move that is nothing but uh, uh, reasoning two types of reasoning a logical reasoning as well as one second. Okay, it is a logical reasoning and uh, it settles in the mind of habit of reasoning. It is an inductive and experimental science is yes, experimental you can prove that one and mathematics is the science which draws necessary conclusions after calculations after giving reasoning. So, you can make a certain conclusions about the measured things about the calculated things. So, that is why so, all these togetherly called as uh, gives the meaning of mathematics. It is not just simply a calculation, it is not just simply a uh, science of study of numbers or a space. So, that is why maths is uh, deals with all these things. If you understood very clearly about these concepts, uh, these uh, things, it is possible to develop all these things among our students when you are teaching. So, analysis of all these uh, definitions helps uh, to explain about the uh, meaning of mathematics. In the next upcoming class, we will move on to the another concept of mathematics that is uh, nature of mathematics. Okay, thank you.